Chatty, it sucks. This is Chris. I'm stuck in the elevator. There's been a crime afoot. Yep, this is gonna be a lawsuit. Okay, I think I'll take the stairs after that. Gangbangers, we'll say, is La Raza. You're refusing to wear a mask? Yes. Okay, thank you. Ma'am, what's your job duty? We're, we're, we're stepping up. Ma Did she lock us in here? Man, this lady just locked us inside of a vault. Golly. Okay. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. It's Friday at the Roundup with Sheriff Wyatt A. Moron. Help my channel continue to shrink by watching my videos, sharing my videos, commenting on my videos. Turn on all the notifications. Consider a membership. Think that there like button, like it, dislike it. Next time you take a cross-country trip, save the uh, phone book and stationery from whatever room you're staying in. Then months later, when you're back in town, take the like button out for some drinks. Get it completely hammered. And when it knocks out, take it to a local motel and swap out the stationery. Today's smooth-headed moron is this guy goes by the name Jeremiah Farley. Channel name is PNW Transparency. Today he's doing a First Amendment audit at a U.S. bank. Because I guess you don't know a bank cannot violate his First Amendment rights. And he angers the people in there because he just keeps putting his camera up against the window. And he gets into a little bit of a scuffle with somebody on the street. It's not too violent. He falls down, but probably just wound up with a scratch or two. Although he does claim his camera got busted. But one of these days, these frauditors are going to meet the wrong person. And they're going to wind up in worse shape. But let's watch this one. And let's round us up a frauditor. Yes, sir, I got the blues. I got the frauditor blues. I ain't got no job, ain't got no wife. My dog ran away, I got the blues. I ain't got no friends, I ain't got no job. My car's in the shop, and my camera's gonna get busted. The shampoo didn't work, I still got the crabs in my pubes. I got the blues, the frauded or blues. I'm not sure when this bank's window got broke out. I was just down here the other day, and this thing was fine. So, big public sidewalk. And I thought these windows were mirror tent. But they're not. I got a hunch. You might get some attention from this. How are you folks doing? Good, how are you? I'm good. A jackpot? A jackpot for what? No, nope, yeah, he's freaking out. He thinks he's all swole. Here he comes. Hey, that you're taking videos inside of public, private property. You may be taking a video outside of you know, on public property. Don't get next to me, man. I'm, I'm covering the camera. Don't you may be next. taking private, private, may be taking videos on public property, but you cannot be taking videos inside of private property. This is private property. It's also under federal jurisdiction. True. I am asking you right now, do not do that again. I've got a client's so information sitting up out, out, out in the open right there. You could be a little nicer. No, I don't need to. Okay, time to call the feelings police. Okay. Just so you're aware, I'm calling law enforcement. Good luck. Just so you're aware, I'm calling law enforcement. 
Yep, they're going to tell you to leave me alone. I don't know what they think I can see. Look at the window. Ooh, he was hot. Yeah, I guess he wasn't that bad looking. All right, 911 call at 445. So for the record, 430 to 5. They're just going to tell you to leave me alone, man. You're out of your lane. No, I think he's in the right lane. Protecting his customer's information is his job. You think they would just close their drapes or windows or... Jesus, dude. Why gotta be so aggressive? <laughs> you moron. Look, I don't know what you fine folks watching this do for a living, but just imagine sitting at a desk at work and suddenly there's somebody behind you with a phone pointing at you. How would you feel? That's what's happening here. How are you? Let's see if his dumbass comes running over here. Yep. Oh, I can do this all day. Yeah, because you ain't got no job to get to. Good. <laughs> oh, I'm trying to stay serious, but this is just too funny. This is incredible. I thought the cops were coming. Are they coming? You called them, so now I have to wait. Yeah, I gotta wait. <laughs> oh god Mind my own business, okay? Now, why are you camera in there? The window's wide open, man. I know, but why are you doing that? They're taking a picture of me. Why? Education. Education because you're a moron? <laughs> you think they had blinds? Instead of going in and calming those people down, they're just fanning it and making it worse. All right, guys, watch this guy. Got two cameras now. See? I wonder if Toothless Joe's gonna come get me. Make sure Hillbilly Joe doesn't come after me. 
Speak of the devil, and he shall appear. Just for the record, if, how do I put this? If I banked here, and someone was handling my account info with a window wide open behind them, I wouldn't be mad at the camera guy. I'd be mad at the guy that's supposed to keep my stuff safe. The onus is on you to protect their privacy, not me. Get a rope. Get yeah, away, man. Get off me. Get off me. Get away. You fucking are stupid. Get the then leave! What are you recording? I just had a man attack me at U.S. Oh, what? Bank. Where at? A man attacked me at U.S. Bank on 4th Ave. On 4th Ave. Okay. He's walking away. He's trying to get away from me. Do you know who he was? No. I was okay. taking pictures, and he grabbed my equipment and used it to push me down, and then tried swinging at me and tried using my own equipment to get me. He's trying to run right now. Okay. What race is he? White, six two, red hat. Get away from me! Black shirt. Can you just separate Please. from him? Okay. I'm. I'm not gonna let him leave. I'm okay. Not close to him. How much does he weigh? Or is he thin, medium, or heavy build? Buck sixty. I'm so okay. He's Did you guys an age on him? Now. He's what? going down the alley next to painted plate. Next to where? Painted plate. Painted plate. Yes. Okay. Way. Could you guess an age on him? 55. 160 and 55 years old. How terrifying. He's about 55 years old? 55, yeah. Now okay. he's running. Okay, I want you to stay separated from him. I am. Okay. He's running. Any weapons on him? No. Okay. Any drinking or drugs that you're aware of? What? Any drinking or drugs that you're aware of? I don't know. He's very unstable. Okay. Where is he at right now? Heading back to Painted Plate. Okay. Trying to go back over to the U.S. Bank parking lot. I'm gonna skip ahead a beat. I'm standing by the red Dodge truck on the okay. public sidewalk. And just again, you don't see the officers in the area? Nope. Do you hear them? Nope. Okay. The guy took some of my equipment, I believe, so that's theft. What did he take, do you know? Uh, a part of my equipment I had. Okay. And you said you were just there taking pictures when he came up to you? Uh, I was taking pictures at the bank. They okay. didn't like it. Okay. So are we, do we know for sure if that guy works for the bank, or do you think he was just in the area? I think he was just in the area as a customer. Okay. Um, it looks like they know each other, though, by the way they're talking. Okay. I had three of them come at me at once. Well, one did the, the grabbing, and the other two were backing him up right behind him. I had nowhere to go. Okay. And you can still see the red truck they haven't left yet? No, no. I'm okay. standing right here, so okay. here they come. You see law enforcement? 
Yeah, I see someone just pulled up. Okay. And here comes another one off of Capitol to Fourth. Okay. So are you going to wave them think. down, or are they talking to you now? Yeah, they, they see me. Okay, I'll let you go. Okay. Right. Thank you. Bye bye. Hey. I'm Officer Shea. We spoke on Sunday. Just to know you're recording. I don't care if you report me. Yeah. What you're doing. So what will happen? Why have more officers coming? You called in about an assault. What happened with an assault? Obviously, we're doing an audit. So you're doing a First Amendment audit of a privately owned business. I just got one thing to say to that. Bitch, please! Today's Fraud and Around the Bitch, Please is brought to you by Olivetti Typewriters. Ladies, are you tired of men ignoring you at the office? Those times where five, six dudes are invading your personal space ain't happen often enough. Or those dudes ain't trying to crawl up your leg like a young native boy gathering coconuts. It's sorely lacking. Well, get yourself an Olivetti typewriter. It's been proven by scientists that the ink inside these typewriters is 72% stronger than the strongest pheromones emitting from your armpits. So for those times where you want to be the office object, get yourself an Olivetti typewriter. Olivetti typewriters. Compromise elsewhere. Did you just say you're doing an audit? Bitch, please. Why don't you take another look at that Constitution and its amendments? It's there to protect our rights from the government. U.S. Bank ain't the government. Hence, there's no audit going on, just a creep with a camera at the window. Right, Tim, yep. They freaked out. Okay. Um, one of the customers, obviously I can't hear inside, uh -huh. he came out, started screaming at me, okay. went back in. I came back towards the front here. Okay. He came out again and came at me. Okay. So I this... backed up. He grabbed me, was pulling my equipment away from me, and he actually got it. He hit me with it so in the ground. Okay. Can I take a photo of that? Do you mind? Yeah. So you were just you were just recording on the outside. We're obviously inside. You're on the sidewalk. He and came out and started. He came out and started coming He was coming just out. yelling. Right. I mean, so that's Typical. big big deal. Yeah. I'm used to that. But when I he see, can I see your camera? When he grabs me. Yeah. So where did he grab you? He grabbed my shit. I put my shit up. Uh huh. And he grabbed that, and I kept trying to get it away so from. So you me. put up kind of like a defensive, like to basically get away from me. And he grabbed it, and he was like pulling you with it, or like you know what I mean? I have it on camera. Perfect. Yeah. Can I see that? Yeah. Let me um. And I'm going to get your information, of course. So yep. just give me one sec here. Mm -hmm. What's your last name? Farley. Like F-A-R-L-E-Y? Yep, just like Chris Farley. Sure. Is it comma spelling for Jeremiah? Uh, yeah. And then what's your middle initial? Date of birth? And phone numbers in the call. What's good address for you? I can give you my ID. Perfect, that's so great. Right? I guess it doesn't matter with this anymore. <sighs> so I just want I, I to verify, you were just recording, he comes outside, he's like coming at you, you guys coming at each other. Not you weren't coming at each other, but he was coming at you, right? And then, I was just trying to get away. Trying to get away, he grabs this. I kept it, backing up, I was trying to get, and he grabbed it and started pulling me back into him. So he was grabbing it, pulling it towards you, and then did he hit you at all? I don't know. You don't know? Okay. But it's all on recording? Should be, if he didn't break it. Okay. Now they're here talking to the attacker. I'm going to speed that up a little bit. So, he's walking away? Uh, yes. <laughs> so, 
Okay. Altercation. Right. Bank won't give me the camera footage yet. He wants subpoenas, etc., etc. Okay. So everything's unclear. Like I told Brian, what I'm going to tell you, you both, you both are going to go separate ways. I need to deal with the bank, get the camera footage. Okay. Your camera footage is not clear either. What's your name? I'm going to write it down. Serenko. You. What's your badge number? 14. I'll write it down for you. Okay. I'm are you in charge of this event? Or is, or you? I'm in charge, he's my supervisor. So you're supervising the event, really? Correct. And you want him to leave? Really? So a lot of evidence to be reviewed here. Yes, we need to review the bank camera. They're requesting subpoenas. Cool. Okay. Cool, so I'm gonna deal with the Par bank. for the course for you guys. Do you wanna wait for my name and badge number and a case number? No? Did you okay. find the rest of my stuff? Where's the rest of my stuff? I don't. Do you want my name, badge number, and a case number? I'll get it later. Believe me, I know how FOIA works. Okay. Okay. So, the bottom of this, the top half of that, and everyone leaves. No, they can take some of that stuff out and put it in your backpack earlier. No, it's not that. So, this thing was 300 bucks. Okay. Now half of it's gone, and you guys just let the dude walk. Man, I keep giving you guys chances to be good cops. And you could be a decent person, but instead, you're an instigating piece of crap that don't know the First Amendment. Do you have any questions for him? Yeah, I'm talking to you. Why does he get to walk away? Do you want my badge number? Why does he name, get to walk away? Number? Okay, I got attacked. Answer my questions. Okay. I'm going to review the bank camera because they want a subpoena. They won't show me the footage. They so? Want does he work at the bank? Dave, Does he employees. work at the bank? Who? The dude that grabbed me. No. no. Then why do we care about subpoenas? I showed you a 360 cam review. The bank. Last time this happened, I gave you a, the bank a cell phone. I'm talking to him now. I gave you a cell yeah. phone video. Do you need me here, Sergeant? Uh, no, do you want to go try and help the missing person? That's Absolutely. Fine. Thank you. You're about worthless, man. Come on, man. This is horseshit, you know it. Jeremiah, you got conflicting stories. Conflict. We haven't been able to review the video with sound yet. Gotcha. And we have security footage we need to review. You guys never disappoint. Well, I can tell by that sundial it's time to say goodnight. Put a little beans on the fire. A little Colt 45 malt liquor on ice. And as always, cuddle up with a clean shirt and a dirty woman. Anyway, good night. I bid you adieu.